All right, so I just basically want to make a video, attempting to make a video anyway, on rooting this Pixel 7 Pro. It is back to stock completely. As of today's date, we are on the very latest firmware. You can see the build number there. I'm using my um, Anchor camera for video and sound, so don't let me know if it sounds awful or good or not. So this is from scratch. This is a brand new install of Windows. This is a brand new install of the phone. We're going to enable developer options. Now we're going to go to system and then we're going to go to developer options and we're going to, I like to enable stay awake. OEM unlocking is enabled and we need to enable USB debugging. Okay. And now you can go home on our computer. We're going to need to open up a web browser and use whatever you'd like. We're going to need to download the Android ADB SDK platform tools for Windows. Download those. We're also going to need the Android USB drivers. We're going to download those. We're going to need Majesk. We're going to download that. So Majesk 26.4 APK. That's downloading. And then we're going to need the Pixel 7 Pro Images Factory. We're going to acknowledge that. And for me, I'm going to keep scrolling down past 7A to 7 Pro. I'm going to choose this one. And we're going to let it download. All right, we should be pretty close. What I'm going to go ahead and do is extract some stuff. We're going to do the platform tools. We're going to extract all. Let's go ahead and do it here. So I'm going to take the platform tools and just put it on my desktop. That's the easiest way for me to do it. USB drivers. We're going to put that on the desktop too. We can make a whole new folder on the desktop. That would be a better way to do it. All right, I'm going to plug a cable into my phone here. All right, so our download's done. We're going to open the download. I'm going to go ahead and take that to my desktop as well. I really should just make a whole new folder, but. All right, and then what we need to do, uh, we got to unlock this bootloader, so it's going to reset this device. So what we're going to do now is uh, open up our platform tools folder. What I like to do is just copy this and then search CMD. Run as administrator. We're going to do CD, paste, and we're going to do uh, ADB reboot bootloader. And then we're going to always allow. And we're going to type that command again. All right, as you can see, we are currently locked. We need to unlock that bootloader. So we'll do fast boot devices. And as you'll see, there's nothing in there. So let's go to our device manager. There's our Pixel 7 Pro. We're going to update the driver, browse. Now I put it on the desktop. So we'll click USB driver. OK. Next. Got this little pop up here install. All right. So now if we press up, enter, there we go. Fast boot devices. So let's do fast boot, flashing, unlock. And then we're gonna, on the phone, go to, it says do not unlock the bootloader. We're gonna press the down arrow. We're gonna do unlock the bootloader. We're gonna press that. All right, bootloader is unlocked. Now we're just gonna go ahead and choose start. You're gonna get this little thing here that says your device is you know, I'm, <laughs> it, it can have custom stuff installed on it. My first time using a webcam like this for recording, so it's pretty bright. Basically, now the phone's going to reset. I wonder if there's a way for me to fix that. That's just really... We'll just cut to whenever it's done. <laughs> All right, so yep, basically it's starting from scratch here. My computer's saying we're setting up your Pixel 7 Pro. I'm only going to connect to my Wi-Fi, and I'm going to skip everything as much as possible here. 
Make sure it says your Pixel 7 Pro is ready to go. All right, so we're going to skip everything. All right, and so basically our phone is reset. So we're going to change our settings we want to change real quick. Then we need to go back down to About. And we need to do the Developer Options. System. Developer Options. USB Debugging, OK. And we're going to Allow. And then importantly, what we need to do now is file transfer. All right, so now that we are on here, we need to go to that folder, the Cheetah. And from here, we need to extract this file to our desktop. And then we need to go to this PC, our 7 Pro internal storage, drag that file over. And then on here, we need to uh, do our CD command. So that Majisk, I'm going to cut that with Control X. Look at my platform tools, paste it in there. I'm going to copy this again. And then I'm going to do ADB install Majisk. So now I open up my, so now I'm going to turn down my brightness so you can see my phone. We're going to go to that Majisk thing, allow, install, select patch of file. And then uh, we're going to go to that boot image. Let's go. It's done. OK, so now we have the file. And then on our computer, we need to go to this PC, Pixel 7 Pro, internal storage, download, but just patched. We're going to open our platform tools, and we're going to put that Majisk patched. And I'm going to go ahead and copy the name of that and paste it. All right. So now we're going to do, we need to reboot into Fastboot. So ADB devices, cool, it sees it. ADB reboot bootloader. We're going to do Fastboot devices, cool. We're going to type Fastboot flash boot and then uh, that name of the file, which is going to be init or init, you can just basically press tab and it autofills it. All right. And then fastboot reboot. I typed in fastboot wrong. And now, if we did everything correctly, it will start up the phone, it will go to the home screen. And Majisk will say that we are currently rooted. This is always a terrifying process to see if you did it correctly or not. Yeah, see, it says boot failure. I don't know how to fix that. That's what I've been doing. When I was doing it with the new name for that file, it wasn't working properly. So that's why I changed it back to the in the init underscore boot. But yeah, this is how not to root your Pixel 7 Pro because I suck at this. The good news is, if you suck like I do, type android.flashy. Basically, this is the tool you want to see. You go up here in site settings. We're going to do pop-ups and redirects, allow. Let it reload, get started. It should, they're already installed. We're going to allow ADB access, add a new device. Uh, once we plug in our phone, <laughs> Pixel 7 Pro pops up. We're going to do back to public, default. See, that's the thing, right? This UQ, maybe it's uh, 240105. And I downloaded 2Q1A240105.4. So yeah, see? Anyways, you can go back to stock. It's super easy. Allow, accept. And now it's uh, putting my device back to its working condition again. Because right now it's not booting. So yeah, do do better than me.